Hey everyone, John Henry here, SlingshotFutures.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the CCI indicator. Now the CCI indicator, if you're not familiar with it, I've got it at the bottom of the screen there on the chart. That is the Commodity Channel Index. Now, despite the name, uh, it's not just for commodities, okay? It's for anything that moves. Uh, now, the CCI was developed by a guy of the name of Donald Lambert back in 1980 when he published uh, an article in the uh, Commodities Magazine. Um, and really, it's it's a pretty straightforward indicator. Uh, there's not a whole lot of calculation to it. In fact, the calculation, uh, we'll just write it out here, is the typical price. So typical price minus the SMA, the simple moving average, right? And this is divided by uh, 0 0.015 times the mean deviation. Uh, so essentially what that means is it's a way to determine when a potential longer term trend is beginning. It's a little bit counterintuitive than your normal indicator that you're used to. When the indicator is, is way up here, then you're looking to sell. And when it's way down here, you're looking to buy. That's not how the CCI works. The CCI works inverse to that. So a general, uh, fairly common way to use a CCI is when it starts breaching the 100 level up or down, that's generally seen as when a trend is beginning. So you can see the CCI is a lot of times used as a confirmation tool after another setup has occurred. Wait for it to trigger above 100, and then you get into the trade. Uh, now, depending on the periods that you use, right now you can see I have a 34 period CCI. Some people choose 20, 40, uh, if you want to stick with fib numbers, 21, whatever. Uh, but generally it's a slower period. And again, the reasoning behind it is because we want to make sure that a trend is potentially beginning before we start jumping in. So it just means 34 periods. If you're looking at a one minute chart, that's 34 one minute candles. So I have a 34 period here on a one minute chart. And what we're looking for is when the market starts breaching negative 100 or positive 100, that's seen as a go with kind of move. So right here, we can see that we broke through 100. They broke through negative 100 multiple times, broke above 100, broke back below 100. These are signals that there could be a potential trend starting. So if you look at all these areas, now, well, this one happened right at 930, but that was a potential long signal buying with the positive 100. And right here is a potential sell signal selling with a breach of a negative 100. You kind of get the idea here. Now, this is why I'm not a fan of trading the CCI by itself. Now, I'm not a fan of trading any indicator by itself, but especially the CCI. The CCI is a confirmation tool in my eyes. So let's say as an example, you're looking for a Fibonacci pullback, right? You have a nice rally to the upside. You're looking to buy the Fibonacci pullback because you like the long term. What you're waiting for then is waiting for the pullback to occur and then waiting for it to get above that 100 level, which strikes right about there, right? So you're looking for a long once it breaches above 100 pending everything else in your uh, in your trading style came into fruition. Now, because you're utilizing it more as a confirmation bias, going with a slow period down here doesn't make as much sense because we need this to confirm a little bit late, of course, as with most confirmation, but we don't want it to confirm seven centuries away, right? It's, it's a little bit too slow. So when I'm looking to utilize this as a confirmation tool, I speed this up a little bit and go for something like a 13. Obviously, I'm a big fan of fibs. Uh, but by doing it in a sense of a faster, zoomed-in, closer look like a 13, that allows it to trigger much sooner. So if you're looking for a Fibonacci pullback to buy into, maybe a moving average cross or anything like that, you're waiting for the breach of 100, and that triggers your long in here. And again, utilizing it as a confirmation tool, speeding it up a little bit can be a huge, huge help. So that's the CCI indicator in a nutshell. It's a really straightforward indicator. You could potentially trade it by itself on maybe a daily chart for bigger trends. I prefer to use it as more of a confirmation bias, waiting for the mark to get above 100 after everything else has already lined up. If you're waiting for that or looking for that one extra little tick box to add to your trading, this could be a nice option to add. Right, so as an example, here's one for Nike, right? Nike is looking really nice. We have a beautiful wedge pattern setting up and it's breaking out of the wedge. When do I get long? Well, let's add our horizontal lines back on 100 again. And I'm just gonna eyeball, I'm not gonna make it perfect, but 99 close enough and negative 100 just so we have both sides right there, right? So what we're waiting for is we're waiting for a break of the wedge 
and I'm waiting for the CCI to get above 100, which actually happened all in the exact same candle. That is your long right there, right? That's your reason to get into the trade as a confirmation. You have the structure, you have the strong bull bar, now you have confirmation from the CCI. That's your go ahead to potentially get into the trade. So hopefully that gives you something to maybe add to your tool belt. Maybe it's something that you find really interesting. Maybe it was the extra little piece that you were looking for. One way or another, though, if you have any questions about it, feel free to send me an email, jbrink at slingshotfutures.com. Hope you had a fantastic trading day today. Hopefully you have a fantastic trading day tomorrow, and we'll see you all in the next video.